Hey folks all doing? Hero of Dunn here with your Modest Minute on April 16th, 2021. ESO news, lecture merchant, and gold merchant stuff all in a few minutes. So first up in the news. The Blackwood embargo is now over and folks can now talk about some of their experiences in Blackwood uh, that got to participate in the preview. I took a look at it myself and it looked fairly interesting. Uh, new zones, new delves, new interesting trial to get into and several new systems. Uh, one of the new systems that are going to be coming out for everyone, base game, is going to be Endeavors. Uh, Endeavors are basically like Fallout 76's dailies and weeklies, where it gives you a currency, seals, uh, that can be used later in the Crown Store, uh, and specifically for Crown Store crate items. Uh, it's only going to work for current Crown Store sa sale items, so like the alien crates are available now you'll be you, you would be able to buy items from that but you wouldn't be able to buy things that aren't on sale like let's say the flame astronaut crates until they come back to the crown store also if you notice the crowns the crown crates are now including the radio apex mounts in the crown store for gems uh and they mentioned the the endeavors you're gonna be able to use seals to buy radio apex mounts so a lot of interesting changes with that to uh coming up also uh the ESO Live was today at 4 p.m. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, but during that time, they also kind of went over the companion system, which is going to be an exclusive system for folks who buy Blackwood. Uh, you're going to have two companions to start off with. They're going to level up just as your character will. And they're going to be able to help you in dungeons, public areas, and basically any place that's not including PvP or solo arenas. So really interesting to get into those. Uh, also, just to note, while they can join you into some of those dungeons and public areas, uh, they still f face restrictions and they are not quite as good as a regular player. So take that with a grain of salt, but they can fulfill roles like tanks, healers, and DPS. Uh, the Blackwood previews are also up on ElderScrollsOnline.com. I can leave links to those down below and a whole bunch of folks have new YouTube videos out there kind of covering it. I might do one a little bit later if a photo folks want it, uh, but a lot of the stuff we can't really take a look at or show except for what footage was given to us. Uh, there's gonna be more information uh, once PTS comes out and a lot of systems that we saw will have changes. So right now you can only take a look at some of the high level stuff for Blackwood. However, it looks really promising for what they showed us. Now let's take a look at the Luxury Merchant and the Golden Merchant for this week. So first up on the Luxury Merchant, a lot of Hughes Bane stuff here. So if you want to decorate your house with a kind of Red Guard flair, now's the time. I really like the beds. And some of the other little items here. Now on the Golden Merchant this week, yeah, Bar's Curse, which some tanks still like this, but honestly, leeching probably works a little bit better as well as uh 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 shoot i can't remember there's another one out there that gives everyone a damage shield here uh so it's not as good as it used to be i do know some folks that still like it however uh this is really kind of starting level uh tanking here at this point uh probably recommend just go ahead into hughes bane or actually you can buy this off of folks off of vendors too uh also on sale sentences necklace when you successfully roll dodge, increase your critical damage, critical healing by 15% for 10 seconds. Don't know a whole lot, whole, whole lot of people that use this still, but if you have a roll dodge build, maybe you'd be interested in this. Uh, Necklace of Crusader. Uh, increases the duration of roll dodging. Uh, roll dodge chance bonus by uh, 0.3 seconds. Necklace of Mazatune. Whenever you dodge, increase your critical damage. Oh, sorry, that's Senich. There it is. Um, when you take damage while under 30%, you heal for 10,000 10, health and restore 10,000 magicka and stamina. If I can occur once every 45 seconds. Uh, again, another one that there's other sets that are probably better out there in general and just there's just, just sets that can give you better regeneration. Uh, for 100k, Malbeth the, uh, the Scourger's mask is for sale. Uh, some folks would like to use this for the major vitality it gives. So keep in mind, there is a distance that you have to keep the beam going to get that heal. And then Earthgore, 
useful for both PvP and PvE when you're trying to save some folks. Also, just a, another side note on PvP, there was another article released on the forums today regarding Update 30, uh, mentioning that they're changing some of the stuff. They're going to be bringing proc sets back. However, they're going to be changing several proc sets to be scaled off of stats and other changes on the, as well. I'll leave more links to that down below as well. And I'll see you all in Tamriel.